This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more techniques. This is puzzle number 26. It's an easy puzzle from Sudoku to Go volume 88 by Soap Opera Digest. It's an older volume. We're waiting for volume 101 to come out. It should be out any day now. And uh, I'm going to talk about two things on this. One is the concept of a container and the other is um, solving solving containers or in other words solving rows, columns, and squares. Um, first of all let's talk about what a container is. There are, um, as you know, the rules for Sudoku are you can't have more than one of each number in a row, column, or square. Rows, columns, and squares are uh, what I call containers because each of those can, can hold um, one of each number. Each of these rows will hold one through nine when you solve it correctly. Each of these columns, every one of these columns will have one through nine, and every one of these squares will have one through nine. And what we're going to do on this in this video is um, solve rows, columns, and squares. And we're going to do the entire puzzle by solving rows, columns, and squares. Um, that's kind of an easier concept, and when you're doing easy or medium puzzles, you can use this. You can also use it for hard and expert puzzles or diabolical puzzles. Um, but the, it, it doesn't work as well. Uh, so the, the way to solve um, containers is you just find one where you've only, you're only missing a few numbers, like in this column right here. We're only missing three numbers. There are three empty cells. Uh, the rest of the numbers are filled in. So let's look and see which numbers are missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, and seven are missing. Okay, and then um, since we're solving this column, we look at the row that is missing a number and the square that um, that, that cell is in. So this cell right there, this empty cell right here, is in this row and in this square. It's also in this column, but this is the one we're working on. So we're going to look for a 2, 3, or 7 either in this row or in this square. There's a 3, so that means and there's no 7s or 2s, so that means this can be a 2 or a 7. Okay, let's look here in this row. There's no 2, 3, two, three and 7 aren't aren't anywhere in this row. Um, in this square we don't have a 2, 3, or 7, but in in this row right here we've got a 2 and a 7. So the only thing we're missing is a 3, so we can fill that 3 in. Now what's left in this row? A 2 and a 7. The other two numbers, the two numbers that we saw in this in this row here, um, they're the ones that are missing for this column to complete it. Well, let's see. Let's see if we got a 2 or a 7 here. No, we don't. So, um, no 2 or 7 here. So we can't solve those yet. Let's try this one right here, this column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5, 6, and 7 are missing. Okay, let's look at this empty cell. There's no 5, 6, or 7 in this row, but there's a 5 and a 7 here. So we know this is a 6. And what's left for this column? A 5 and a 7. There's a 7, so we know that's a 5. And then the only number left is this one. That's a 7. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's go back and try this one one more time now that I've I think we can finish that one. We've got a 2 and 7 missing, and we've got a 7 there. So we know that's a 2, we know that's a 7. 
So that's the concept. Um, we'll just continue solving containers here until we've um, solved the entire puzzle. Let's look at this row down here. We're missing at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 4, 8, 9. Okay, there. This cell here is it, you know, we're solving this row, so we're going to look at columns this way and these two squares right here. So what do we have? 2, 4, 8, 9. Here's a 2 and there's an 8. So this is a 4 or a 9. This is a 4, 8 or 9. Here's a 2 and an 8 and a 9. So 2, 4, 8, 9. So we know that's a 4. It's the only number that, that we're missing here that isn't in this column. Okay, and what's left at 2, 8, and 9? Okay, so let's go back over here. There's a 2 and an 8 here, so we know this is a 9. Okay, what's left? 2 and 8. Okay, what about this one here, 2 and 8? There's a 2 there, so we know that's an 8. And then this is a 2 to finish it. Let's try this row at the top here. Uh, we're missing a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. 1, 4, 6, and 9. There's a 6 and there's a 9. So we know this is a 1 or a 4. We also know this is a 1 or a 4. Now these That's a concept of twins. It's a little bit more advanced, but you can see how that works. We know these two cells have to be a 1 and a 4. So we know this is a 6 or a 9, these two cells. Once you find these twins, you know that the other two numbers can only fit here. And there's a 6 there, so we can put a 9 in. In that case, we're looking for just two numbers instead of four numbers. Okay, and then what's left? That 6. Okay, we can't solve these two right now, but we did a pretty good job of finding um, these two numbers here. That was, you know, like I said, a twins are a little bit more advanced concept, but I think you can understand that. Okay, let's see. Let's look at, at this column here. I'm going to go a little bit faster now that I've explained how this works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, and seven. There's a seven there, so that's a four, five. There's a 7 there, so that's a 4, 5. Uh, okay, well, we, we didn't find two numbers, two of the 4, 5, or 7s, but we found us. There's a 7 here, or that can't be a 7, I mean, because that's a 4 or a 5. And this can't be a 7, and that's a 4 or a 5. So we have twins there also. So 4 and 5 are taken, and we can put the 7 here. So there are two ways to look at that. You can see that these are 4, 5 twins, so the 7 goes there. The other way is to see the 7 can't go there and it can't go here, so it's got to go there. Okay, so we can't solve those 4, 5 numbers right now. Let's, let's go to this column right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, and 4 are missing. Okay. Can't see a 1, 2, or 4 in this square or in this row. So let's look down here. Here's a 1 or a 1 and a 2. So we know this is a 4. Okay, so we can put that 4 in there. And what are the two numbers left? 1 and 2. Okay, there's a 2 there, so we know that's a 1 and that's a 2. Okay. Now remember these were four fives here. We've got a 4 here, so we know that's a 5, and the number left is a 4. Let's look at this row right here. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9. 3, 6, 7, 9. Here's a 3 and a 6, so that's a 7 or a 9. Here's a 7 and a 9, so that's a 3 or a 6. Let's see, here's a 3, 6, 7, 9, so we know that's a 3. What's left is 6, 7, and 9. We have a 6 and a 7 in this one, so we know that's a 9. 
So we have a 6 and 7 left. There's a 7 there. That's a 6, and that's a 7. Okay. Let's look at this one here. Well, first of all, let's... And when you're solving a contain, for containers, look for containers that only are missing one or two numbers, you know, the fewest numbers possible. In this case, it's easy to find this one. That's a 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a 3. Here's another square that we're almost that's almost completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know that's an eight. Okay. Uh, this one only miss, is missing two numbers. One, two, three, four, four and nine. There's a nine there, so we know that's a four, and that's a nine. Okay. What were these? I think they were one and four, and so there's a four there. So we can put the 1 and 4 in. Let's look at um, well, let's look at this right here. We're only missing two numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1 and 5. Mm, can't solve those because we don't see a 1 or a 5 in either of these rows. Uh, another place we can look is right here. We've got three, three missing numbers here. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 4, and 9. There's a 2 and there's a 4, so that's a 9. 2 and 4 left. There's a 4, so that's a 2, and 4 is left. Um, let's look at this row right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1 and 7 are missing. There's a 7, so that's a 1, and the leftover number is a 7. Okay, let's look at this one, this row here. 1, 3, 5. 1, 3, and 5 are missing. Here's a 3 and there's a 5, so we know that's a 1. We can also see another way of looking at that is neither of these can be a 3, so we know that has to be a 3. Um, so we can put that in. We could have done that before we put this 1 in, but uh, we saw the 3 and 5 there. So the la last number is 5. Okay. Now we've only got one number here missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's a 6. And let's look at this square right here. Let's solve this square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 and 7. So there's a 7. So that's a 5. Now we've only got one, one cell here that's empty. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. And let's solve this square right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a two, so that's an eight, and that's a two. This was one and five, so we've got a five there now. And we've only got three numbers left. Let's solve this one first because it's the easiest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I go through all the numbers anyway, even though I saw the one first. I just want to make sure that I have the right number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three and four are missing here. There's a four, so three and four. So we solved that entire puzzle. It was, it's an easy puzzle, but I wanted to um, explain the concept of solving containers, and containers are either rows, columns, or squares. Thanks for watching, and hopefully volume 101 will be out pretty soon where I'll solve a, an easy, medium, hard, and diabolical puzzle from that volume.